Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Nelson. Hey, is it Valder BB? This is like, Valder, Valder BB broadcasting live Valder from BB. Dallas, it's Texas a whole. on KKVI FM Radio. How are you? Okay. Awesome, fantastic. You know, I'm from Dallas, so no, it's I nice didn't. to talk no to you from my hometown. They usually give me the 411. <laughs> well, I actually grew up in Flower Mound, so just north of Dallas, but I know exactly that's, that's where, where that I call is. home. Well, we always welcome home our prodigal children. Thank you so much for telling me that. <laughs> <laughs> but let me ask you, you're bigger than Flower Mound now. You're on the Science Channel. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm really excited about the whole show. I mean, I, I did leave Flower Mound and then went off to do marine science in Miami and Hawaii, all over the world. And now with this show, I've been traveling all over the U.S. We have 16 different stories for this one. Um, I'm just, I'm really excited about it. Well, we're excited about having Rob Nelson. He's on the Science Channel, his new series, Secrets of the Underground. What are we going to see? Well, what are some of the secrets? Because they, they threw around words like Al Capone and a prohibition. Well, what's going on? Well, this show is really about using technology to try to answer things that scientists have been baffled by for ages. And so there's three different categories. We've got the, the, the archaeological things like Al Capone or shipwrecks, what happened there. And then you have the geological things like super volcanoes and earthquakes. Um, and then you have kind of prehistory. So there are a lot of things where we looked at dinosaur footprints or mastodon bones in caves. Actually, the one in Texas is about mastodons. All right. We're live also, too, on Facebook, so I'm going to ask this Facebook question for you because it comes from Flower Mound, Texas. They wanted to know, were you good in science oh, awesome. when you were in school? Um, well, my best subject, yes. <laughs> uh, I, I am a big proponent of science, definitely, in education, and, and it all depends on the teacher, so I do a lot of that as well. But yeah, I, I've always been interested in science. I think the first person that got me interested in it was Jacques Cousteau. And then I kind of went on from there. This show, to be totally honest, was, is also my other hero, which was Indiana Jones, which was back in the 90s. Um, but uh, this is kind of archaeo basically real-life Indiana Jones is really what this show is. All right, then. So you're living your dreams by bringing us this information. What are some of the other things we'll see on your show? Um, well, um, so one of my favorite ones, because I'm a marine scientist, are the underwater archaeological things. So one of the things we did is in Lake Michigan, they recently discovered a shipwreck that they didn't really know what it was. Um, and this is a shipwreck that's been that's disappeared for over 100 years. And it's in 150 feet of water, 37 degrees at the bottom. So what we did is we dove down on the wreck, tried to look for clues. I was working with some of the historians up there. And that's one of the things that we reveal in this show that I think people will really enjoy. Of course, you've got all the Al Capone stuff that you mentioned as well. That, that, those are really fascinating. Okay. I'm going to take one more Facebook question, guys. And that question is for you, Rob. It, they want to know, have you done any marine work in uh, the state of Texas? Um, I've done a lot of diving in the state of Texas, but... Um, uh, my work as a scientist in Texas has actually been all um, on aquatic plants. So we were working in lakes there, trying to restore the lakes to their native uh, ecosystem, basically. That was all in Louisville. It's 
people from the area will be familiar with that probably. <laughs> yes, we are. You are just quite the scientist. <laughs> I, I love it because you and you will inspire children to understand that you can have a career, you can take it into adult life. What is when you do underground? What do you want the audience to get from that? Well, you know, it, it could be above ground, it could be below ground, but really what I want the sh what I, really what I want people to get out of watching this show is that science is interesting. Science is active. People discover stuff all the time, and it's not it, it's a lot more interesting than what you might get if you just read a scientific paper. And so, if anything, hopefully I inspire a, a, another generation of people to get into the sciences, people that wouldn't normally think it was all that interesting. It really is. Thank you so much, Rob. As I wrap up, can you tell me where, 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 where in, well, we know we can see you on the Science Channel. When do you want us to see us, and when do you want us to see this new, new show? Yeah, well, definitely check out the premiere, which is Valentine's Night at 10 p.m. That's 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 Central, uh, on Science Channel. I think you're really going to like it, uh, but I'm curious what other people think, you know, because well, you've you got it on come, Facebook. Well, you got to come back. My audience is very, <laughs> very vocal, and they know more than I do. So come back, and we'll tell you if we like it. But we'll be there. Thank you, Rob Nelson, okay, for talking awesome. about your new show. Thanks, Falder, baby.